Hello friends, today we will learn about plate tectonics. Hey buddy, what's up? Oh wow, it looks awesome. All the seven continents of the earth were once joined together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle? Have a closer look on this. If you move the continents of South America and Africa close enough, they would fit together like two perfect pieces of the puzzle. A German geophysicist, Alfred Wegener, presented the concept that the Earth was nothing but a huge jigsaw puzzle. This area gradually got divided into seven parts that we now know as the seven continents. Our Earth is round like a ball, full of land and ocean. The Earth is made of four layers, the crust, the mantle, inner core, and the outer core. Come on, have a closer look on this, guys. Whoa! The crust is not a single solid continuous land. Um, it is broken in so many pieces. These parts of the Earth are called the tectonic plates. These plates keep floating on the hot molten inner layers of the Earth. The plates are about 100 kilometers thick and consist of two major types of materials, oceanic crust and continental crust. You must be wondering, what moves the tectonic plate? The plates move using three types of movements. They are convergent, divergent, and transform movement. Let's learn about them one by one. Convergent. In this movement, the plates move towards each other and give rise to geographical structures like volcanoes and mountains. The Himalayas was built by this movement. Divergent. In this movement, the plates move apart. The magma from the interior of the Earth flows toward the surface and moves the tectonic plates away from each other. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is an example of this type of plate boundary. Transform In this movement, two plates move sideways with respect to each other. California's San Andreas Fault is a transform boundary. When the two plates rub against each other, a huge amount of energy is built up, and this energy is released as earthquakes. The major effects of earthquakes are ground shaking, landslides, ground rupture, tsunamis, liquefaction, and more. The place where the earthquakes originates is known as the hypocenter, and the place where it occurs on the Earth's surface is known as the epicenter. Now you know a lot about plate tectonics, stay safe and always help others. Bye bye!